Joining us this Friday morning, David Dietz, David Barnson, Susan Lee and Ashley Webster. Got to start with the jobs number. David Dietz, I'm uh, sorry, uh, uh, Barnson, Mr. Barnson. <laughs> Barnson. <laughs> Only 20,000 new jobs created last month. Mm -hmm. I think that is hurting the market. Do you agree? I'm sure that the short-term response can't be positive, but, you know, you really have to look at the thing, these things, Stuart, three-month rolling averages, because you get a sort of extraordinarily bad month, you get an extraordinarily good month, and you've got to roll them together, and we haven't had a bad rolling three months since President Trump has been elected. I think that the negative on the market this morning is China trade. Mr. Barnson, what do you say? Well, I said it about three weeks ago on the show, and I've said it every week since, and I'm going to just keep saying it every week, that there will be no real news until there is news. There will be word that a meeting isn't scheduled, and there will be a word that a meeting is scheduled, and right. we hear it's going to be good, or this part is coming apart. All that up and down stuff, Stuart, is unavoidable. I mean, it's part of the news cycle, but I think that fundamentally there's only two things that matter. These two things for our listeners. A a deal is going to happen, and B, it's going to be a good deal. Let's go to Costco. Sales up, and big news, raising its minimum wage to 15 bucks per mm. hour. Uh, David, Mr. Barnson again, uh, great to be an American worker in this full employment economy, isn't it? It is. And you know what's interesting about that 3.4% wage growth uh, in this new labor report we got this morning is a year ago, that would have caused the market to revolt because everyone was so worried about wage growth being a bad thing because of inflation and what's the Fed going to do. And th that's the last thing anyone's worried about this morning. Good yeah. wage growth is good news. And you see it in this Costco report, wages growing, there's that pricing pressure. You want employees making more money. It's not inflationary when productivity is going higher. Interesting. Yeah. I would also point out that Costco took a lot of criticism because it's never been unionized. People said you can't get a fair shake from a company that's not unionized. Here, two uh, wage hikes in just 12 months. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great thing not mm -hmm. to be working for a unionized shop. And parental leave now, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. Hourly yeah, paid and workers. And plus <laughs> Go on, David. I was going to say, your company also stays in business, too, so there's that. Yeah, there's always <laughs> that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Let's not forget that. I want to do a shout-out for David Barnson. He's got a new book. Um, if the pre uh, scroll, there you go. Uh, it's out next month, The Case for Dividend Growth. That's your mantra, isn't it? That's the stocks that you invest in, where the dividend is going to go up. Right, David? Yes, it is my world view of investing and the idea being better companies growing their dividend over time. So many features to it. Luckily, you let me talk about it on the show a lot, Stuart. But thanks for uh, talking about the book. And there's a lot of info in there. It'll be fun. Any extra sales that I generate for you are commissionable. <laughs> it's very simple, Barnson. We're He's not joking. Here. That's He's not what joking. we are. <laughs> the two Davids. Gentlemen, Absolutely. thanks for joining us. We always appreciate it. Thanks very much. All right.